Nearly everyone who grew up in the late 70s and early 80s knows the name John Boy Walton. Seriously, who hasn't said, Good night, John Boy, at some point in their life? But how many of you remember that time that John Boy Walton saved a planet? The Waltons was a television series on CBS that ran for nine seasons from 1972 through 1981. Richard Thomas starred as John Boy Walton, the oldest of seven children in the Walton family. The show was about a family from rural Virginia during the Great Depression. The Waltons was a show that we watched at our house on a regular basis. And then in 1977, one of the greatest films to ever grace the silver screen was released, Star Wars. It was the biggest movie of all time. Well, at least it was in the opinion of a six-year-old kid who went to see it with his older brother and dad. After the success of Star Wars, the entertainment industry rushed to catch a ride on the success of Star Wars and a slew of science fiction movies were released within just a few years. Battlestar Galactica was released the following year in 1978. Buck Rogers in the 25th century a year later in 1979, and Flash Gordon in 1980. I absolutely loved these movies. For some reason, I can even remember my elementary school having an assembly where they played Battlestar Galactica for us in the auditorium. I still don't know how they pulled it off, but they did. Then one night in the fall of 1980, I got a phone call from one of the kids at school. He asked if I wanted to go to a movie with him called Battle Beyond the Stars. I really didn't have any clue what this movie was about, but it sounded like another sci-fi movie and I was sure I'd love it. So I hit my parents up to see if they would give me some money to go see it and also if they could drive us. I was in luck. They said yes to both requests. Little did I know what I had in store for me that night. Enter Roger Corman, B-Movie Mastermind. Wanting to jump in on the success that science fiction movies were having, Roger Corman decided to produce a sci-fi remake of The Seven Samurai. Now I can honestly say I had never seen a Roger Corman movie until I saw Battle Beyond the Stars. Richard Thomas, yes, John Boy Walton himself, stars in this movie as Shad, a young farmer living on a peaceful planet. When that planet is threatened to be taken over by an evil tyrant, Shad takes out the spaceship Nell to go and find some mercenaries to help protect the planet. Now if you've ever seen The Seven Samurai, or even The Magnificent Seven, you know the basic storyline. So what is there to say about Battle Beyond the Stars? Well for starters, it's definitely a Roger Corman movie. For example, look at the spaceship Nell. This is one curvaceous ship. I've read that Roger Corman really loved the design of this ship, which, by the way, was designed by a very young James Cameron. Also, the characters and dialogue in this movie are, well, let's just say they're so bad it's funny. Here's two of the mercenaries that get hired, George Papard as Cowboy and Sybil Danning as St. Exman, the Valkyrie. There were some very talented people who were just getting their start when they got involved with this film, including the aforementioned James Cameron and Oscar-winning composer James Horner scoring one of his first films. I can't really say that this was a good movie, but I do have fond memories of being a nine-year-old kid who just loved sci-fi movies so much that even this movie seemed freaking awesome to me at the time. I'm going to end this video here with a picture from a simpler time, and to Richard Thomas I'll say, Good night, John Boy. Now how many of you saw Battle Beyond the Stars? And are you a fan of the Roger Corman B-movie classics? I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. I mostly make videos where I talk about movies, music, and TV from the 70s and 80s, and when I'm feeling a bit crazy, even the 90s. Thanks and have a great day.